pretend I'm Merida. Speak to me. What would you say? I can't do this. Sure you can. There, there, that's my queen. Right, here we go. I don't want to get married. I want to stay single and let my hair flow in the wind as I ride through the glen, firing arrows into the sunset. This movie is going to have the Disney name attached, but in many ways it feels like sort of it's calculatedly an anti-Disney animated movie. Does it feel like that from your end? Well, yeah, I mean, we, we love the classics, you know, and, and all the movies that have been about the princesses. But knowing that here we have our own kind of fantasy adventure film with at the center, uh, you know, of the story is this girl who happens to be a princess, you know, because that's what the story requires to raise the stakes, you know, of her, of her decision. What kind of princess do we want to make? You know, we have an option here and we want to make a very strong, will dynamic person, a girl that doesn't need to quest for a happily ever after. She's just figuring out who she is. Yeah. And that automatically separates her from the princesses that have come before right. her. We didn't make a Disney princess, we, we made a Pixar hero, you know, yeah. and that's really, you know, our way. So a, a different take on things, a new way of doing it, and, and someone who we really felt that we could relate to. And you knew when you started, of course, that this was going to be the first Pixar female protagonist. Was that something that was on your mind as you were? No, we it's can't. Just, we can't, can't let it be. We, we can't, can't let it be because then it would we're hinder our process. You know. You know, it's like oh, if it's the, it, you know, that kind of element you would hold high on a on a pedestal, and we have to be very careful. Instead of, you know, forget about it. We just need to make this hero, awesome, inspirational. You got to fall in love with this character. I mean, we've had cars and fish and old men and and rats and superheroes. You know, and they've all been fantastic. Uh, heroes and Merida is just another fantastic hero. I think when you think about it, it's like, oh, if, if you look at it and, and make the film as, oh, but it's a girl, then, and you focus on that, then you you are in, in, in at risk of falling prey to conventions of a genre or, or yeah. to, to, to doing things conventionally, like, well, this is what a girl people would expect. We, we can't do it that way. We have to approach her as, as a standard Pixar character. character, which is like, she has growth, she has a, an arc, she's an appealing yeah. personality who we want to be around can't be about gender. Well, you mentioned the conventions, and there are so many things that this is missing. There isn't a love interest. There aren't wacky talking animals. <laughs> is that liberating, or, is, or do you find like you sort of need those things to push the narrative no. at certain points? No, we don't need them. We don't need, need to rely on any of those things. I think there's enough entertainment that comes out of the situations that we put our characters in. You don't need uh, the Michigas, you know, the window dressing uh, of these elements that we've seen time and time and time again. You know, it can just be about how do you get off the tower when you're locked out? You have to make a rope out of kilts, you know? Don't ruin it. <laughs> so talk to me about Merida's hair. I, I get the feeling it's really the lead character in this movie. <laughs> well, I, I think that Merida as a lead has, um, she had a personality that had to come across. The story required that she be spirited, adventurous, untamed, and, and a bit wild, and very unique. And so that, that red color, the curls, and how they move, that's all very much part of her character. And so we had to develop um, technology uh, over a long period of time to be able to get that character and that look. And, and so yes, it was a labor of love, and we're very pleased with it. And Kelly was not the first voice for Merida, but why was she the right voice? Well, she, you know, we, we had a, a, a wonderful experience getting Kelly onto the film. She's got her a wonderful comic timing, a great ability to, to, to channel that teenage spirit, that teenage self, you know, and if, if you've spoken to her, you know, she can get, really can get to the acting point. Great comedy, great heart, great humor, and, and a lovely voice, and she's really, really been great for Merida. 